Hello everyone, welcome once more to Mathematics Pro. So today we are going to calculate the volume and the surface area of this plus prism. So let's get started. Initially, the formula for volume is base area times the height. So firstly, we need to identify the base. Right? The base is the shape that is identical. So it's the flat shape that is identical. So we can see that this front and this behind will be the same. So the flat shape in front and behind will be the same. So this is going to be our base. So this is where we are going to calculate the base area. Then we multiply times the height. So the height of this prison is 12. So this distance is 12, it's 12 everywhere, so this is the height. So let's start by calculating the base area. So if we want to calculate the base area, the only thing that we can do is to separate this flat shape that is in the form of a plus into three rectangles. So I'm going to separate this. So here we have three rectangles. Now that we have three rectangles, so if here is three, yes three and here we have two and we also have another two here so this will give us six so the area of this will be 18 this will be six right so this is six and this is three so the area of our first rectangle will be equals to 18 so we are going to have 18 centimeters square and this other one we have if this is two years two as well so the area of the second one will also give us four centimeters square here we also have four centimeters square so if we add the base area we are going to have 18 plus 4 that will give us 22 plus 4 will give us 26 so our base area is equals to 26 centimeter square so with this we can calculate the volume so the volume itself which is equals to base area times the height so now that we have the base area which is 26 centimeter square times the height is 12 centimeter so if we multiply this, we are going to have 26 times 26 times 12 will give us 312. So the volume will be in cubic units, so centimeter cubed. So now next, let us calculate the surface area. So for the formula of surface area, now before we even go further to calculate the surface area, let us not forget that our base area is 26 because we are going to use it here as well. So 26. So surface area is equals to, so you can use this formula when calculate the surface area of prism. Or prism, you can use this formula. 2 times the base area plus the perimeter of the base times the height. So we have the base area already. So next we are going to calculate. So next we are going to calculate the perimeter of the base, then we multiply times the height. So surface area again is equals to 2 times the base area plus perimeter of the base times the height. So we have the base area already, so we are going to have 2 times 26 which will give us 50 52 so our base area will give us 52 plus now let us look at the perimeter of the base in order to calculate the perimeter of the base we need to write all the dimension so here is 3 if we have 2 it means here is 2 then here is 2, then we also have 2 here as well. You have to be careful when you're calculating the perimeter. Here we have 2 already. And we also need another 2 here. So 
now I think then here as well we need to have two here and two here as well okay because the perimeter is the total distance around so we are going to start with the perimeter so I'm going to put the perimeter in the bracket since it's going to be long so we are going to start we can start with three so we are going to start with this three so we have three plus three plus two plus this two because you have to be careful you can draw a line three plus two plus this two plus this two plus this other two plus this two plus three plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two so this is what we have for the perimeter times the height the height is 12 okay so we need to add all of these we cannot pair the perimeter so if we pair this if we pair 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 this will give us 9 and also if we have to pair this this is 4 we have 3 plus 2 so we have 6 again plus 2 which is 9 then we are going to have 8 so this is the same the perimeter will be the same as 9 plus 9 plus 8 which will give us 26 so if we move further now we know the perimeter as well so let us calculate the surface area so surface area which is the same as 2 times the base area 2 times 26 plus perimeter of the base give us also 26 times the height the height is 12 as we said before height is 12 so the surface area if we multiply this together we are going to have 52 plus if we multiply 26 plus 12 will give us 312 so if we sum them up it's going to give us 300 and 364 centimeter square so that's it P thanks for watching please subscribe